Cheap or expensive? Which one is better? The cheaper Ivy scrimper or the de facto standard for good crimps, the Engineer PA-09? Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. In video number 39, I showed the difference between a cheap SN-28B and a quite expensive Engineer PA-9 crimper. For me, it was evident that the Engineer tool was much better and many of the commenters agreed. Some had good results with SN-28B crimpers, but not many. Maybe there are different makes on AliExpress and some of them are better than others. Recently, a few viewers reported good results with the cheaper IVIS IWS-2820M tool. So I ordered one. Maybe we can save a few bucks? Let's look at the two tools. Both look very similar. Both are simple pliers without ratcheting mechanism. And you have to crimp twice with both. First the copper and second the plastic. The size and weight are very similar. If we look at the part which produces the crimps, we find four openings on the engineer and six on the ivis. If we measure their thickness, we see that both are thinner for the smaller connectors and wider for the bigger ones. And the difference between the two is minimal. If we compare the prices, we see that the engineer is around double the price of the ivis. Which one will win the battle? First, a warning to all right-handed persons. I am left-handed, so it might look very different if you try it yourself. I have quite a few differently sized connectors, but I did not find one which needed the 1.0 or even the 0.7 mouth. And this big connector for cars and bikes only needs the 1.9 cut. Maybe you can comment where you need these very small or very wide openings. Two days ago, I got an emergency mail from a colleague with the following content. The little sister had demolished the bigger sister's cable from her circuit playground express, and he had no spare connectors. Because I like it when girls are interested in technology, I promised to help. And today I got the patient. Fortunately, it is a PH 2.0 connector, and I happen to have not only the connectors, but also the inserts. Small excursion, because JST connectors are quite standard for makers. You get them in various sizes. The most common are SH, GH, CH, PH and XH. Their dimensions are metric. The SH, GH and CH are very small and I do not crimp them myself. I buy them prefabricated. Maybe this is the reason I never used the smaller openings on the IVIS. The PH and the XH are crimpable for me. And of course, none of the Chinese JST connectors is manufactured by JST. So let's try the two crimpers and compare the results. First, the red wire with the Ivy scrimper. I strip the plastic from the wire and insert the contact into the 1.3 opening. Then I insert the wire. As we will later see, the plastic must be inserted until it stops. You should see the copper on the other side. Now you crimp. Let's look at the result. An excellent and nice looking crimp. The metal is bent precisely as you would expect. Now the plastic. Because my inserts are usually too wide, I have to press them together before they enter the 1.3 jaw. I crimp again and it also looks very good. If I pull the wire, it stays where it should. Excellent! Now let's crimp the black wire with the PA-09. The copper crimp is also perfect, but the plastic crimp has some ears on the back. Fortunately, they do not harm when inserting the cables into the shell. 
I would say the result of the first test is 1 to 1 for the ibis because its crimp looks a little better. Next I want to crimp our beloved DuPont cables. You see usually I try to avoid crimping and have a selection of prefabricated wires. Using such cables is much faster. But if I need them longer or if I want to use for example these very flexible silicon wires I need the crimper. So let's crimp the black wire with the engineer and afterwards the red with the ibis. Also here I use the 1.3 or 1.4 mm opening. If we compare the results we see that the engineer again produces small ears and it also bends the insert and I have to use pliers for straightening because without this step they do not insert easily to the shell. No big deal but this game ends at 2 to 1 for the ibis. It again produces very nice and straight crimps and the feeling during the crimping is better with the ibis. You can feel when the metal bends. The last comparison is to bend the metal for the plastic crimp into shape that it fits into the 1.3 or 1.4 mm opening. It is done with the tip of the tools. This area is too short on the ibis and it is not easy to reduce the size of the plastic crimps. The PA09 has a much longer area and it is easier to do this job. So the result of the features comparison is 2 to 2. Because of the significant price difference there is a clear winner of this battle. The IVIS wins against the engineer. So we have a new crimper champion on this channel. And if you did not see all my videos you might be interested in this tip. I very often use empty shells and insert either prefabricated or homemade contacts. Like that you can quickly and safely work with many parallel wires. Maybe you watch video number 231 if you want to learn more on how I wire my projects. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.